What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the Edmonton Oilers and here are the lot of results. We have the sixth overall pick so couldn't make it into that top five which uh, it's okay but as we look here Nashville's pick is nowhere to be seen so they made the playoffs and it's not too bad that we gave up that pick. It actually likely lost value so that's good for us. It was it was still very risky and I know uh, I think I saw at least one or two people bringing up a uh, bringing that up in the comments of the last video, but, uh, we, we, you know, we, we, we came out on the right side of that. Anyway, Ottawa gets the first overall pick, so they're going to get probably that Delmore dude, but before we get into this, we have, um, oh yeah, we also have the retirements, but my goodness, this might be the most names I'm going to read off for this, one of these contests. So many people got two or more right, and they almost were ruined by one person who had Jamie Benn as their league leader. He only lost by two points. Imagine if he if he just had two more points and he tied with Sagan. It would have been, yeah, he would have erased all these names right here. But as it stands, I'm reading off about 15 names. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. All right, anyway, so let's check retirements here. Jason Spezza, Hartnell, Sharpie, uh, Jokinen, uh, Jamera, Unberger, Horton, Franzen's gone, Bojeman, Bia <laughs> Juice, uh, Chris Neal, Orpik, Tutu. All right, so those look like the main... Main sort of Clayton Stoner. Those look like the main names there. Okay, and Craig Anderson, Nick Backstrom. All right. So there we have it. There's there's the retirements. I didn't have to switch back there, but I did anyway. There's the retirements there. And before we go into uh, the draft here, I'm going to read off all the names of the people who got two or more. So my goodness, here we go. All right, so first up, Brian Ferris got McDavid and Vasilevsky. Next up, uh, Swiss Cheese with McDavid Vasilevsky. There's a lot of people with that. Uh, Robert Robles, McDavid Vasilevsky. People going for the trends. Dylan Talk, same thing, McDavid Vasilevsky. Burns wasn't too far off, but I don't think anyone guessed Klingberg for defense. Alex Richard, McDavid Vasilevsky. Next up, Islanders fan 13, McDavid and Vasilevsky. <laughs> uh, fucking Stallion Duck, McDavid Vasilevsky also guessed Burns. Not quite. Uh, Neon Leon, uh, McDavid and Vasilevsky, uh, scores one, also McDavid Vasilevsky, do I have to read that, <laughs> wait, I know there's, I know there's something other than McDavid Vasilevsky, Dwarf Dog 35, also McDavid Vasilevsky, um, Zob Bob 123, McDavid Vasilevsky, and he sucks at spelling, there we go, <laughs> I think he spelled league wrong too. Um, Austin Hunt, McDavid, and Vasilevsky. A lot of people wanted thought Patty Kane would uh, get that lead in points. Uh, Paulie Niemann. I don't care about that game in clips. You're Paulie Niemann to me. McDavid and Vasilevsky. All right. Uh, Matt Bernstein Productions. McDavid, Andre Vasilevsky. Oh my goodness. I think I, they're at the end. Walter M. McDavid and Vasilevsky. Um, <laughs> Minnesota Wild fan 271, McDavid Vasilevsky. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're all that. No, here it is. Yeah, I knew it. Uh, Donnie Tikhanov or Donis, probably Don, I don't know. Donnie Tikhanov. Um, he got Sagan for the league and McDavid for the team. So there we go. <laughs> the best for last, the one who's different. All right. So there we have it. I don't know you guys, how many was that? That's a lot. That's at least like, that was like 15 names I just read off. So congratulations to everyone. And like I said, yeah, there's one, one person in there. I think, I think I read his name off who had been there. He's literally off by two points. All right. Anyway, so we're going to get into the draft now. I don't think we have anything else to do here. No. So let's get into the draft. We have a sixth overall pick. Now, with the way this draft is going, I don't know that that's going to be anything incredible. We might want to move up slightly if we, if we can. If we can't, then we can't. But let's see what the projections look like, first of all. And then kind of gauge it from there. So as it, yeah, as it drops right into the, yeah, that sucks. We are likely not going to have any elites here. We're going to get into the top sixes pretty immediately. But I could trade back for this guy. Uh, he'll take a while to develop. I'm actually kind of interested in what this guy's going to look like. He could be an elite. I wish I could have got him scouted more, but I didn't really. I wasn't really looking at goalies. This guy has a decent chance to be elite, but he could also just be a starter. And trading back, 
I mean, we can get a decent chunk of things if we trade back. Oh, hello. Oh, the, oh my God, this guy jumped up into the top five. What? Okay, um, I definitely want to go after this guy. It's a right-handed defensive defenseman. That is incredible. Um, fuck. I wish I knew the order. Well, we know Delma, Delmore is going to go first. That's pretty obvious. Shit, now I, I don't have this guy scouted like at all. That's unfortunate. Now he's in the top five. Oh, man. He's probably going to go like third. I don't know. It's so tough. I don't know. We can try to trade for the player himself with our pick, plus other things, which might be the best option here. Because, yeah, the top after that drops off, it's pretty shitty. Man, that right handed. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Like a defensive defenseman, probably right hand. And that's. Oh my goodness. Wow. He, he jumped way the hell up there. He was not projected top five. Even at the end here, even in the offseason, he was still projected, like, I think, for, damn. He just jumped up there. So three, no, only two defensemen. Yeah, that other defenseman dropped back. Oh, man. So this guy's pretty much, well, he's not guaranteed to be elite, but, I mean, he could end up being like a top four, which wouldn't be amazing if we ended up grabbing him. So I'm going to have to see how this this is going to go and if, if I want to trade for this guy. It's too risky to kind of trade for the pick, I think, because it's a lot of value. And there's no guarantee that this guy's elite. It's most likely, yes, he's going to be elite, but there is no guarantee. And I'm a little, I'm a little skeptical about that. Very skeptical about that, but that would be a really good defenseman to have an elite right-handed defensive defense. And he would pair perfectly with Dolan. Like that would be just perfect to have man. And age wise, it would line up really well. I the, just, like I said, it's, I can't really trade up for it, man. And we got rid of... No, we still have a second. and I Oh, we have two seconds still later, but we still have two seconds. Do we have... I know, we, yeah, we have an early third. And maybe one more third. Or did I use that? Probably. Yeah, one more third. So we have... We have a lot of picks to be able to trade for this... For the dude. Probably some other assets, too, if we want to throw in. But... That's... T uh, that's so tough. That's that puts us in such a predicament. We're like right outside of the box for it. Yeah, I don't have any late round steals uh scouted, at least confirmed or anything like that. There's a chance this guy's pretty decent being 19 at all. So that's unfortunate. We have no Oh, this guy's second round. Top six, 19, not bad. Probably yellow because he is 19. Jesus. Yeah, well, we're going to have to take a lot of blind picks here with some of our later picks, but ah, that sucks. I wish I knew more about this Grewal guy. He looks really good, but I just don't know when he's going to go. It, I mean, obviously, if he, if he drops back to like the five slot, I could trade up for it. And then like we wouldn't really be losing anything. We're going to only get a top top six or a top four D if we trade up, unless this guy's an elite out of nowhere. I He could be. Hard to say. It's just hard to say. So I might have to just draft. We might have to do a draft and trade deal. They, we, not, we might have to wait for someone to pick them and then try to trade for the player, which is can be very difficult to do uh, either way. So, yeah, Delmore goes first overall, like I thought. 80 overall, 2A forward. Very, very well built. 17 as well. 6'3", 205. Looking really good. Already a third liner. I have a feeling that this guy is going to go. But I, I can't confirm that, and they don't want to give up the pick. So I don't think anyone in this top five is going to want to give up the pick. Which means, I I mean, I can't, it's going to be impossible to trade for it anyway. So the best bet is to probably trade for the player himself. Yeah, that's, and yeah, we have the six. So unless Vegas isn't going to want to give it up, their rebuilder. So yeah, we'd have to wait for him. Hopefully he, <laughs> hope, pray that he drops to six or trade for him when he, when he goes. But I think we cannot lose out on that guy. Okay, 70. Ooh, wait a sec. No, that other guy's way better. That's a miss pick by them. Definitely a miss pick. Well, if it keeps going weird like this, we have a chance. I knew it. Yeah, 75 overall. That's pretty damn good. He's only going to need like one year of development. God damn. Yeah, defensive stats built well. Discipline's already pretty high at 80. Well, decently high at 82. Yep. I, I, if I can trade for this guy, I want to trade for him. That's just plain and simple.
I'll give him my sixth round pick and some other stuff. Yeah, I just but before I couldn't have traded up for that pick. I mean, they, it wasn't on the block. It probably would have cost more. Yeah, look at that value. The third would have been way more than that. I'm pretty sure. Well, there's an easy way to check that. We can remember where that is. Look for the fourth pick, Buffalo. Let's see what that value is. That's actually close. I don't know. Hard to say. Oh no, that's less, dude. Oh yeah, never mind. I'm a, I I forget how quickly it drops off in the top five from the first overall to that. So yeah, may eh, value wise maybe it would have been slightly better, but again, it's I I didn't know when he was gonna go, and again there was no guarantee that he was elite. It was very probable, but I didn't wanna I didn't wanna eat crow and like make make a bad bad move there. But can we can we get this guy somehow? Obviously, we're chucking in our six overall, which is not going to be that much value. It's a decent chunk, but there's not, I don't think there's any way we get this guy. We still have to throw in something major. I mean, could throw in Larson, who still has a really good chunk of value and is not going to get any better. I mean, what, he's in 86? Could throw Larson in. That would really reset us, and be pretty tough to move back up uh. I don't know if we're gonna be able to trade for this guy I mean even if I chucked in all my seconds and all my thirds that's still not even enough like I mean, it's close but I still wanted to want to hold on to one of my seconds if I put in the two thirds maybe that's enough uh, it's close but they don't since he's not on the block i don't think they go for it no woefully insufficient i don't know we might have to wait on that <sighs> yeah well I, ca I can leave that to you guys we don't have to trade for him now we got time we don't have to trade for him now but i mean it would it would be nice since we have that sixth overall value I would. I kind of wanted to hold on to Larson though, just because he could get pretty decent. But I mean, at least for top four, like he could be fine for top four. Him and Nurse could be good for that. As Dolan makes his way up, he's obviously he should be top two. I mean, we can move Hamannick in the deal. He'll have one year left. They want Hamannick, but that's not a huge amount of value. This guy means could mean that we can trade Nurse at some point, but that's no guarantee. Uh, I'm I think I'm gonna have to wait. I, I don't. But the, the only shitty part about that is is this pick the value from that? Unless someone picks out of order here, we're likely only gonna get a top six. They might be good overall, sure, but it's only gonna be a top six guy or a top four defenseman. And you don't know if it's going to be green or not. It probably won't be green, any of these guys. Yeah, who even is the best one here? Hard to say. Really hard to say. Probably, actually, hilarious. No, 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 not that guy. This guy, uh, I don't even know. This is ridiculously hard to tell. probably sustito i don't know again yeah this is just really <laughs> really difficult in like we're we're, we're freaking screwed unless someone picks out of order here sorry right, let's sim these next two picks and if someone lucks out and picks out of order but i don't think they are then we can maybe be no no one picked out of order that's rough so we either need to pick someone who's only top six or try to swing that trade because yeah it they everyone picked in order no one picked out which sucks the other option we have is to move our pick back move the pick back grab this guaranteed elite sniper and maybe use his value like to make the trade you know what that might be a decent uh, idea here we can even pick up a prospect or some if we wanted to move this pick back so who the hell wants this pick? Let's find someone who might might want this pick, who has some good stuff. 
All right, Arizona wants the pick. Let's see. It makes sense that they want it. I can't. thinking about stuff I can maybe grab here. How's their team looking? They're not going to be a good team by next year, that's for sure. So that's good news for us. Could grab their pick from next year in this deal, but I think the values are kind of similar on that front. Yeah, and that doesn't... We have yeah again we it doesn't help us getting that later first round. We have to trade to someone who wants to give up like who has a 16th pick. That's who we really need to look for. That's rough, man. So LA has a 16th pick. Let's see, do they want this pick? They want to give it up, so they probably don't want this pick. Yeah, they don't. But all right, we'll throw that pick in there. Grab a they don't have a first from next year. That's unfortunate. <laughs> What kind of prospects do they have then? Any prospects whatsoever? Velarde's decent. It's another center. Two-way forward. Yeah, they have no... I don't think they have any goalie prospects either. Nope. Nope. All of these, just a bunch of top six dudes. Which aren't bad, but... We can get ourselves... We're. I mean, we're guaranteed... Ah, we can, you know what? I wouldn't mind picking up Velarde here. Let's see. Offensive awareness is actually pretty decent. Has he played? No, I can't. I can't wait for NHL 19 when you can check. They're goddamn. All right, or we can trade for the 15th pick and hope that that they have more stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna be a little crazy here, a little anal about all this, but I don't know if the Blues have any prospects though. At least that we want. So they don't want this pick, but they should still want to grab it. Anyway, are there still... Alright, so we can grab the first from next year. Again, that might not be amazing. Because their team's pretty damn good. I don't foresee them missing the playoffs, but you never know. Their center situation's pretty weak. Their defense is great, and they have a couple good forwards. Yeah, they have like one good line, so they're probably not going to miss. But they've had the tender a few guys here, and they're ruining them. Again, not really any sort of prospects, though. Fitzpatrick's decent. It's four, oh, my God. Really amazing contract. We can just grab picks for it. <laughs> I don't have to grab a prospect. We can just grab picks. Might even be able to grab a second from next year, too, in this. Let's see. That might be a bit much, but we'll try this. We'll move this pick back for another first from next year and then a second from next year as well let's see what they say to this they might go for this no not where you need to be in value that should go this two first for one first could go through and we're getting we're guaranteeing ourselves an elite with this pick so that's still good yeah let's try this two firsts uh quite far off you're bullshitting me there's no way i'm quite far off let's chuck in one of our thirds try the earlier one there we go all right, so I'm okay with that. We get another first from next year, plus we move this pick back. They're only going to get like a top six, unless that guy turns out to be elite. I don't think he will, but if he does, then whatever. We still get an elite, no matter what. He won't be as high overall, but we still have guaranteed ourselves an elite, but we're taking a sure thing instead of, yep, nope. Well, that might not have been the guy. No, it wasn't, I don't think. But I don't think there is an elite because, yeah, there you have it. Yep. Yep pretty sure we made the right call there yep okay so good that was the right call to make move that pick back we couldn't move up we couldn't we can still maybe try to trade for this Greewall guy down the road and he kind of seems really really good for us but we don't have to do it immediately it would have been too hard we already kind of overextended for hall let's not do that again we don't need to we'd rather manage our assets a little bit better here so all right a bunch of top six guys going here and we're going to snag ourselves an elite hopefully he's not red i don't think he should be not this early i think he should be yellow if he is red then that kind of sucks but i don't foresee that happening this yellow now guy could also be a freaking elite but which we do need an elite goaltender but we have to take the sure thing we need value right now and this uh george <laughs> whatever georgevic is guaranteed value okay good so he's low overall but the value should be good 53 overall 
the value is still going to be good though. So yeah. So we could probably he probably could have gone later, but I mean, I'm not not going to really take that risk here. So let's see what ends up in the rest of this. I want to see what that really I want to see where that goalie ends up. And if he's going to be elite. And then, oh no. Oh. Don't. Two way forward, righty, goddammit, we could have had that guy. Too bad I didn't know anything about him. <laughs> yep, I knew, I fucking figured, oh, he's 50 overall, though. That's low, very, very low. If he grows like a weed, then they got a chance for him, but pretty low. I had a feeling he would have been elite. Ooh, already getting to the red elites here in the first round. Another red elite here, okay, so. Red elites already in the first round. It's usually what happens in this second year, very, very weak. Red top six. Ooh. All right, so there we have that. Let's see what that last pick was. Top six. So Suzuki was a nice pick. How about those red elites? What were they like? Any high overall? No, they're both the same. Are they 19? No, 18. Cameron Scott. <laughs> it's my one of my friends' names, actually. And, uh, okay. American, Canadian. Both two-way guys. Both lefties. Okay. Let's sim up to our next pick here. See what we can get in this 22 slot. Starting goaltender was there. Nice. Everly. Okay, that was the top six guys looking at. It was only red. Yikes. So that's not a great sign for us. We can try this guy and hope he can only drop his lowest top nine. But that being said, he can drop his lowest top nine. But he is 19, so maybe he's got a chance there to be something kind of decent. We don't have anything, any kind of steel scouted. Let's scroll back a bit. Let's see what else has popped up. A lot of starting goaltenders. Some top nine. Yeah, a lot of top nine forwards. 48 overall. All right, let's see. This guy, is he 19 by chance? No, okay. I'm just trying to think or try to see if there's anything maybe to indicate that that pick might be bad. But I don't know. Could also try goalie. The odds are pretty good to grab a starter. But with my luck, he'll end up being a backup or something like that. And I don't think there's an immediate goalie here. No, there's not. Okay. This guy can only be top four and it'll be red, likely. Yeah, this guy... Uh, I'm still hesitant. I do like the fact that he's 19, but... It's not that great. Yeah, hard to say. Um, I should just grab him though, cause he. Yeah, let's let's see. If we get lucky, we get lucky. Red top six. You know what? That's that's all right. It's not amazing, but it's okay. <laughs> it's it's probably better than anything else we could have gotten, unless some random elite pops up here. But I don't see that happening, cause we saw red elites in that first round. Yeah, a bunch of bottom sixes after this. All bottom sixes after this. So we have another pick now. We might want to look backwards and. Pick something maybe a bit out of order here, because nothing's looking great. Another 19-year-old Russian. Since we just, just picked one, I'm kind of tempted to go for this guy. Right? The other guy we just picked was from Russia? Yeah, I'd be bullying. That should be. <laughs> Unless he's from, like, North Korea or some shit. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of tempted. Because it seems like he should be around the same... This guy's also 19. Don't know anything about him, but he is 19. But let's... I could be completely wrong with this, but... It looks like it should be kind of decent. So maybe another red top six? No, bottom six. All right, unfortunate. Now I'm going to hate myself for that other guy. It turns out to be good. But he might drop anyway, so... That was him, right? Iverson? Yeah, okay. Well, he's nothing. Let's see what that was. If anything popped up. Nope. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that was Iverson who I was looking at. Let's sim to our next pick here. Scroll back a bit and see what there is. Mm, 
No red elites, still fringe starter, red top six, red top fours. Yeah, no red elites here. Pretty rough, but that's kind of how the second year will be. Pretty, pretty sparse. But if we can maybe get lucky, then you never know. Goaltender. You know what? Let's pick a goaltender. This seems like a good chance to have something be a steal. Nothing else really looks good, in my, my opinion. Yeah. Let's try a goaltender. This is our chance. Fringe starter. Yep. Well, better than a bottom six value, so I'll take it. Next pick here. Into the fourth. Oh, Ackman Larson sniper red elite. Okay. Right wing sniper red elite. Keep that in mind. That was a red top six. I already saw him. We were back here. Oh, another red elite. And Roth. Oh, wow. There's a few that we missed. Okay. So, Russian right wing power forward 19. Two-way defenseman from Sweden. Sweden sniper? Yeah. All right. Well, damn. Missed all those. I did scout Sweden too, you bitches. Couldn't one of you guys get scouted for me so I could see? No. All right. Well. <laughs> That guy can't be elite. Some of these guys could be elite. But nothing's that amazing. Yikes, man. One of them was 19, too, which kind of throws me off. He might be the other side of night, like... Like, not actually... He could be in the same bracket as, like, an 18-year-old, is what I'm trying to say. That's what I was trying to get to. Damn, dude, I think we just missed... I have to just get lucky here by the looks of it. Because all these guys were either European or something else, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, they're Swedish. This guy was Russian and he was 19. Or, I'm pretty sure that's, from, that's the Russian League. Yeah. Alright, well, that's a bit unfortunate. I don't think there's anyone there from like the SHL or Russia. That kind of fits the... Uh, this guy can only be top four. This guy has a chance to be elite. Ooh, look at that agility green there at 81. Not too bad. All right, well, this we this guy has the highest chance at any of these guys to be, unless Yakimov's, Yakimov's maybe. Damn. I think I only have one four. Well, let's try the, eh. We did pick up. No, we already have an elite sniper. Let's try him. I couldn't see it. Ah, yes! Hell yeah, baby. 72 overall center playmaker with 85 offensive awareness to start off. Fuck yeah, dude. Okay, that's that's a beauty pick right there. You got to spot the trends. We got. I, I lucked out, though. I'm not going to lie. That's that's actually super lucky. Higher overall than all the other guys, too. There we go. We, hit our, we got our one red elite blind pick quota for every draft. All right, now we're in the late... Fourth, if that other guy's still around, then I might take a chance on him. What was his name? I forget. Wasn't it Chistov? Yeah, wait, was it Chistov? I don't know. Oh, no, it was Yakimovs, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so they're both elite. <laughs> both the guys I was looking at were elite. Uh, but I picked the right one. He's better overall. Way more chance for him to uh, crack the NHL here. So that's three Russians. A right winger, a left winger, and a center. And we're out. <laughs> cheese stuff. No, yeah, that was a different cheese stuff. These guys can only be top sixes. 19. Might pick them for the name alone. Low league interest. I mean, you never know. That could be a good sign. This guy's got some league. I kind of want that goalie too at the same time though. When's our fifth? Do we have a fifth? We might not. I don't think we. Yeah, I don't think we do. Damn. All right, well. The 19-year-old looks decent, but I should pick the goaltender and hope for the best. That's what I should do. We did just get a center playmaker. Yeah, so I should pick the goalie and hope for a random elite. That's really what I should do. It's most likely he's not going to be, but 
we have to find an elite goalie prospect at some point. So let's snag him and hope for the best. Not another fringe starter. Whatever. Better value than a fourth. Now our next pick should be in the sixth. I think we have two sixes, two sevens. All right, so we're already getting into the AHL territory. Let's look back here and see if there's still, if there's anything. Any more elites or anything like that. Okay, Red Elite, Tolufsen, Sniper from Finland. Okay. All right, so Red Elite, Sniper from Finland. If this guy, I don't even know what the hell that name is. Merkin, okay. All right, we'll finish Sniper. That was also in the previous round, but it could still carry over. That guy can't be elite. Another Russian dude here. 19. Not bad. Grinder could be decent. We did just see an okay grinder go. I'm still so tempted to just like pick a bunch of goalies and just keep hoping that I get a fucking elite here. Because one of them could be elite. And this guy's the only other guy with a chance to be elite. And he's he's 19 though. But his point well, poise being his slap shot accuracy can go as low as 72. It, it's there's no guarantee about this guy, obviously. But 19 from Russia. There was some decent. I don't know, hard to say. Really hard to say. I do really want to pick fucking goaltenders too cuz we really need a we need a basically we need to get lucky here in this year if we want to get an elite goaltender. So maybe if I funnel all my picks into picking goaltenders, we might get lucky, but we might also miss out on other red elites, but hey, a yellow elite goaltender would be far more valuable than a red elite another center playmaker since we just already picked one. So yeah, that guy could be elite. He has a shot to be, but I gotta, I've, I've just, I gotta find an elite man. Nope, another fringe starter. Next pick, we'll scroll back and see if anything jumps up. If that Vanek goalie is a goddamn, oh that's it. Okay, never mind. I thought we had, oh I guess, yeah, I guess I was wrong. Well, if there was an elite goalie, we, we wouldn't have found, got him anyway. All right, so I had to just choose some goalies there. It's just. We have to try to get lucky in that. That's the late rounds you can. We've had, I've had, we've had a few late round elites that we've found in various uh, GMO or franchises that we've done. But overall, this was a pretty damn good draft. We traded back, got a got a guaranteed elite, uh, got a red top six, got another, uh, got a red elite center playmaker. It wasn't too bad considering that this draft is usually one of the weakest in any franchise mode. The second round. I mean, we saw red elites in the first round. That's, you never, you'll never really see that again. <laughs> the second year is the only year that you'll ever see Red Elites in uh, the second round. So, all right, there's that. Sum up to the re-sign page. We got to sign Pooley Arby here, which is okay because he won't, he won't say, no, I don't want to sign. He's coming off his entry level. And I just waited to see if I could maybe get a better deal for him. If I can't get a better deal, then it's fine. No harm, no foul. But if we can, then obviously that'd be good. So let's see, Pooley RV. No. Same around the same price, actually. That might have actually gone up. Was it five when I've checked him the last time? Maybe. Well, whatever. It goes up when you do the math, it still is not too bad. So four 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 something. Four four two. So right there should get him for three years. It's that's a solid second line deal. I mean, yeah. And he is a second liner now. 82 for sure, second line. And he should grow a bit more, obviously, with the elite potential that he has. Okay. Ratty. Good for AHL. Very good for AHL. Does he want an AHL contract? No. I could get him for one year and get him down to 0. 0.9 or even lower. Technically, 0. 0.85, but he probably won't go for that. We'll try it. I'd love to get Ratty. He was solid. Kyra... You know what? He's pretty... Oh, he's perfect. Fourth line forward, too. And he's got decent defensive stats, so... We'll hold on to him for a bit. Well, yeah, one year. Knock that down. That's probably too much, but I'll try that anyway. Auberg. Probably don't want Auberg back. I mean, for AHL, maybe. But that's it. Nothing else. Brodziak? No. He's too old now. I mean, he'd be great, but I think he's going to decline too much this year. Uh, Griba is pretty damn solid for depth. 
I don't know that we'll find anyone better. And he wants the contract. And we, yeah, so. Oh, hell yeah. That's a depth deal. Two years at that price, too. Yeah, you know what? We can secure our depth defenseman for two years. Uh, Malone, no, we'll get rid of. We're going to do a lot of restocking in free agency. We're going to comp completely rebuild most of our bottom six here. In free agency. Samuelson, 74-25. You're done. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. Most of these guys are pretty much done. We're going to have to sign a lot of guys in free agency. A lot of prospects, but that's alright. There should be a decent chunk. So, in this case, we'll sign Auberg then. Since we'll need some guy in, in our guys in our AHL for sure. So, yeah, let's release Samuelson. He's not going anywhere. We don't need him. Who else here? Uh, Della Rose. Uh, he's demoralized right now. I don't think I'll want him for my for my fourth line at all. So screw that. He's not. He never gets good enough. Defensively, especially. I right, release you as well. Okay, now let's sign a few of the guys here. Let's sign the. Or wait. Oh, he's Canadian, so we don't have to sign him. Yeah. Okay. Let's. Well, I might as well sign him. Have him play juniors and. Yeah, you know, we'll need guys under contract anyway. If he's a red, I wouldn't sign him. So this guy, I'm pretty sure, is rushed. Yeah, so he can play AHL immediately. Perfect. We need centers. <laughs> Definitely need centers under AHL. So sign him. Uh, this Bray guy, I'll probably leave off contract still. Yeah, while he could play AHL, 60 overall is very low. So let's see him do another year off contract and see how see where he gets. Okay, McLeod, 63 and 19. I don't have to sign. Let's leave him off. He, he, grew, he grew okay off contract, so let's leave him off. Uh, Habibulin, this guy, 19 at red top 6, 62. We need, we're going to need guys to play HL. He can, he can, yeah, he can play. I mean, 62 is, it's cutting it close, but at his age. and We need guys under contract anyway, so let's try him. Another freaking right winger. All right, anything else? Uh, no. Goalies. The good thing is we have a bunch of these garbage fringe starters. Which, those guys are just free trade value whenever you want them. Okay, we need to sign Skinner here. There we go. Now we can get him to his entry level. Bam. And he can play, start in the AHL this year. Well, it won't start, but... uh. Probably have him backing up Brassois. I like Brassois. Even though he's still listed as a backup, he does very well in the AHL for us. So that's why I like him. So let's have him. Uh, Holland and Gru. Hmm. Well, this guy's not going to be ready for starter. Oh, he is. Okay, then let's trade Brassois then this year. Yeah, we could do Skinner and Holland. And there we go. And then try to maybe train up Holland to be a backup. Or Skinner will be the backup. We still need the <laughs> freaking the goalie. That's going to be, I think, top priority next year for scouting, at least. We need to scout defensemen and goaltenders. Because, yeah, Dolan's nice and all, but we still, we're, we're missing. We're missing some key pieces here. We also got a, a lot of guys demoralized. I really wanted that Grewal guy, but we, it, that would have been way too tough to maneuver to get him. Just That's just the, the bitter truth of it. It would have been way, way too much to try to give up for him. All right, well, is that it? Yeah, almost. I think we've, oh, wow. Okay, not as busy as I thought it would be here. Easy. So let's advance today, see if anyone's going to hold out. We'll be able to, we'll, once we're able to, we're going to negotiate an extension with Hall. Uh, we obviously don't want to lose him after picking him up. That's not something we want to do. We got Ratty, we got Auberg, we got Kyra, we got Pugliarvi. Uh Griba rejected, not happy with the success, whatever, suck a dick. I'm going to get him back. I can bump him up. I mean, the, co <laughs> the contract that he was asked for was ridiculously good. And that would be great for depth. If, you know, if I have to offer him even more than whatever. He's he's a good depth guy. He's a nice defensive defenseman. Good stats. Doesn't matter about his discipline because he's only depth. And I think his discipline is actually decent. Or, no, never mind. It was either low or high. <laughs> well, I know, I remember it wasn't one of those mid things. So, we can honestly do like two years at this price. But let's try to offer him exactly what he wants. Even though he's asking for... Yeah, whatever. Let's give him... Let's offer him that. Still under a mil. Which is ridiculously good for a depth guy. Well, it's kind of standard if you think about it. But whatever. 
So Gribe, I think, is the only holdout. So once we get him signed, we could check out what's available in free agency. Maybe we get lucky. Maybe there's some top guys in there. Gribe is still rejected. You're given a chance to play. Shut up. Pray for more injuries. You did get a... You played a few games last year. <laughs> I don't know how many, but I know you played a few games last year. So I might have to bump him up. Or I could just release him and sign him again. Alright, if he doesn't sign for this, I could just release him and sign him again. Well, he'll he'll want kind of probably a bit in free agency. I do really want to have a depth defensive secured, and he's one of the better ones that you'll come across early on. Alright, there we go. Yeah. It's pretty it's still a good deal for depth guy. Just over a mil. Alright, I'm just gonna double check that I'm not missing anything with the signings and we don't lose anyone to free agency accidentally. But we should be good, I think. Yep, all good on that front. Okay, Montoya. There we go. We missed one. So Montoya doesn't want to be re-signed. Is a pretty solid backup. Besides last year. You know what? Fine. If he doesn't want to be re-signed, we're going to have to overpay. Let's release him and get another backup. <laughs> we could even use Brassois in a pinch if we need to, but we could also trade him. Because if we're going to... Yeah, since Skinner is now listed as a minor starter, that's perfect. He'll probably get another jump. It'll be him and... He and Holland and as our one too. And we have these three guys to package into deals and trade for picks or whatever. Whatever we want for him. Alright, that takes care of that. Now we'll sim up to free agency and see what's available. Hopefully we there's some stuff we could use. That'd be nice. Alright. Okay. Trade block's been updated. It's probably crap. Oops. All right, let's see what's here in free agency. See it if there's anything that we can use. Blake Wheeler. Not really. Panera, Mitch Marnell, tender, tendered though. I was hoping for top defenseman. And of course not. There's none. Please be a goalie. Come on, come on, come on. Big money, big money. Oh, Mark andre Fleury! <laughs> I know he's 34, and his role is now a starter, so he's going to decline. Shit. But, <laughs> he's better. Huh. I mean, Mark andre Fleury is available. Oof. Oh, well, my God. Oh, but he was, he was on Vegas. And they've been a pretty shit team. But we're also a shit team. But their defense was horrible. I don't know. I don't know how he sims in this game. Well, he's available. So, there's that. Unfortunately, there's no top defenseman. That's what I was hoping for. But there's literally guys that we don't need. Hey, we could bring back Everly. Four teams interested in him. Yep. Strawman. Righty or lefty? Righty. This guy could replace Hamannick. <laughs> what we could do is trade Hamannick and sign Strawman. Only two years at that price. You know what? I would do that. I'd have to bump him up a bit, but like, it's not too bad. We can afford it. Yeah, I wouldn't be too opposed to doing that. I mean, he's pretty solid for the top four. He's well built, good discipline, he won't be taking that many penalties. Yeah. I'm feeling that. I think we should definitely go for Strawman. Trade Hamannick, go for Strawman, because Hamannick's now on his last year, so plus he's demoralized to shit. Okay, well, other than that, we don't really need any of these other dudes. Say so, no, even Everly, because we have Neil still, and then we have Pooley RV. Yeah, we're fine. No, no, we don't need anyone on the forward end. But defenseman's where it's at. I wish one of those top defensemen hit free agency. Sometimes they do in like second, maybe it's third year, but Strawman being available is good for us because Yeah, it could be I mean, top four guy. We can at least have an okay defensive core. And if we sign Flurry, hey, you never know. It's also Chara here still. <laughs> He's still got top four potential. Ridiculous. No teams are interested in a poor guy. But we can, we're not going to be able to afford all these guys. We're only going to be able to afford one of these guys, basically. So it'll either have to be 
Well, I mean, we could always. I mean, we're gonna trade Hamannick, sign Strawman. If we wanted to go off the floor, we'll, we'll have to trade uh, Hutton or whatever we have. Yeah, we have to trade Hutton. But Fleur doesn't actually want that much, surprisingly. His overall still good. He is gonna decline though, and you probably don't want to get him for two years. Probably want to take him year by year. It doesn't go down that much, so that's good at least, or go up that much. So we could still we could take Fleury on a year by year basis as a new starter. That's always possible. Other than that, though, we're going to have to optimize a bit better. All right, well, there's our free agency. Uh, leave it up to you guys what we should kind of pursue there. We can still always go for that Greewall guy at some point. But, like, I just I wasn't comfortable giving it up what I would have to do at that draft at that point. Yeah, it would have been nice to be able to use that that six but the great thing about that is we moved that six back got an additional first from next year and still got ourselves an elite prospect that was that's kind of best case scenario right there when when we're met with that sort of situation so all right um yeah let me know you what you think we should do in free agency i kind of i'm on i kind of think we should go for uh uh whatever god damn it <laughs> straw strawman was it strawman fucking hell i think it was strawman I have to kind of think we should go for a uh, Strawman and trade Hamannick, get rid of that contract, and obviously free up the spot. And then we can, if we want to, if we want to go for Flurry, we trade Hutton and grab Flurry. And we'll be close to the cap, but we will still be under it. And we could take them on short-term basis. Like, two years for Strawman's fine, but only one year for Flurry. We're not going to go crazy on that. And, do we? yeah, Taylor Hall is going to be a bit of an issue. But everyone else is locked up to two or more years. So, yeah. I'm just kind of... Oh, look at that. Wallstrom's already a 71. We haven't even... Oh, no, we haven't even hit the after free agency jumps. Wow. Wallstrom <laughs> growing like a weed. That's great. So yeah, we're still, we're in good shape. For our top guys, we're still in pretty good shape. It's just that Taylor Hall deal that we're going to have to sort. Can I offer, can I figure that out now? I don't think so. I think I have to wait till after free agency. I could be wrong, but I, well, it does say one year. So I might be able to negotiate with him right now since it is on the one year thing. So we might be able to just do that now. Yeah, I think I can. Oof. It's going to be a bit. He does want the extension, so we might as well try to get him locked in now. All right, let's. All right, so five-year extension takes him until he's thirty-two. That, if we did the math on that, it shouldn't be too bad. It's still up towards eight, but for a ninety-one overall to get him for under eight is pretty fucking good, I think. Yeah, it's it's pretty damn good. So I'm gonna try that. We can get him for seven point eight five. I'd say that's a very very good extension for someone like Taylor Hall. <laughs> You consider Dry Saddles making 8.5, McDavid's making 12.5. It's a pretty damn good deal. I'm gonna pull the trigger on it. That's a, yeah, and that that deal's just gonna keep getting better and better as the years wear on. So let's 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 sign Taylor Hall to that. That's a pretty damn good price. So there we go, taking care of that immediately. We don't want to lose him. All right, other than, yeah, but let me know about Strawman, Flurry, and what I had in mind: trading Hamannick, trading uh, trading Hutton, and then picking up those two and we will be close to the cap but we will be able to manage and as the cap goes up our situation will get easier again we can always trade dry sidle at some point too for something we really need you know we got pool yarvi and wallstrom coming up on that right wing side nuge seems still pretty good solid on that you know second line uh second line center spot and we also got that red elite guy 72 overall who could you know if he gets to a point where we think he would do better than nuge then we can put him in there so we're, we're in good shape here, uh, but I think we could improve ourselves vastly here in free agency. But I don't know that we're a for sure thing to make the playoffs. I think the year after this one, we have to make the playoffs. We can't, no more. But this year is maybe our last year of wiggle room in that regard. So, all right, let me know what we should pursue in free agency. Anything else, trade ideas, etc. All that kind of good stuff. Let me know in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember to leave that like, and I'll see you in the next one watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you be sure to go over there on twitter and shoot me a follow and you could even join our discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there the links to both are in the description